and welcome to Jeepers Adventures. I'm here today with a tutorial on how to set up your Technic launcher so that you can get onto all the servers you play on. Um, it used to be very simple, and it still is quite simple, but for some reason Technic Pack have changed the launcher now, and the original launcher no longer works with the very latest versions of, of some of the mod packs. So what you want to do is make sure that your launcher looks like this. If it's still the old design, not this design, then you've got to update it because, at least for Ticket Lite, the latest version isn't on the old launcher, I don't think. So, first thing you do is make sure your launcher looks like this with the funky pictures and everything else. If it doesn't, go to the Technipack website, the link will be in the description, and click on Download Launcher. Just download that and install it, click Next, click Yes, whatever, all the way through it, and it'll be fine. It's that simple, really easy to do. Once you've got this launcher, you want to go onto the mod pack that you're using. You can have Ticket Lite, Ticket Classic, sorry, Ticket Vault, Yogbox, Access Find, all the normal ones. Um, I am going to be using, for this example, Ticket Lite, of course, because of my server. Um, you want to make sure you click on this little settings icon on the left over here. And um, yours will probably be set to always use recommended builds. Now, usually that works okay because most servers will be running the recommended build. It might take them a few days, I know for me personally, when there's an update, it does take me a couple of days to get the server updated to the recommended build, but um, this will usually work. What I recommend you doing, however, is having it on manually select, because not all servers do run the latest versions, and some of them will stick to the ones that they prefer, the different mods in it, whatever. So what you want to do is click on manually select the build, and then click on this, this box here, and choose the build that fits your server. Um, a lot of server hosts do have a website or a description saying what version theirs is running. Mine is on a website, which I'll also link to in the description, um, and mine is running 0.6.1. For some reason, this is at the very bottom. I don't know why. It's the latest version, as you can see, and the rest are all 0.5s, um, but the latest version for, for Ticket Lite for me is at the bottom of the list. I don't know why it is, it just is. Um, your version that you want may be a different one, but for the now we're going to use 0.6.1. Um, so you click on the one you want, click on save, and then click on launch. It'll look for an update, it should find it, and then it'll say do you want to update it? Like that. Click on yes, and then I'll start downloading all the crap over here. Um, this method does work. Um, the only reason I think people are having problems is because the launcher has changed. Um, it's gone from the old launcher to this new launcher, and, um, and there's just some issues with crossing over from that. I don't know why. But th that sh this should solve it now. Um, if you connect to a, say, a vault server that runs a different version than the recommended, this method will get around that too. You just pick on the version that you need. So you may have to talk to the guy who hosts it, or the company, or, or whatever it is that's hosting the server you want to connect to, and find out what version it's running, um, and then select it in that drop-down list. This method should also work to fix this error message. Um, this message basically says that you haven't got the mods required to play on the server, which you're probably thinking is rubbish. You're, you're launching from the ticket launcher, of course you've got the ticket mods. Um, basically it means they're out of date. Um, so you might be running a newer version than the server is, um, so picking the manual build for the server version as well should also fix that error message. So um, this should get by all the problems you're having just with the newer launcher. And here we are now actually in the Minecraft game. So I am just going to click on my server multiplayer here to show that I can connect. Um, it shows you that this server is running 0.6.1 and you can connect no problems. Um, and it'll work with your server too. If you want to connect to a different one that might be running a different version than what you've selected, just get the newest version of the client and your problems will be solved. So if you've enjoyed this video and it helped you out a little bit, please do drop a like and a comment. Your feedback really does mean a lot to me. So thank you very much. And I'll see you all later.